Hey guys, if you'd like to see how I turn this old braid to full locks, please keep watching, comment, like, subscribe, and share. Thank you. Um, here, I've already washed my hair in the shower and I'm going to blow dry to speed up the process. This was late at night and the only time I, I can have my me time. So I wanted to speed up the process. Here I am blow drying my hair and after that, I'm going to oil my scalp with this growth oil. I did some of the hair at night, um, but I got tired and went to sleep after. So this is the next day and I'm just going to continue from where I stopped. You're going to need a brush, some gel, and the product I'm using is Braid Formula Super Hold Conditioning Gel. Some braiding hair, I'm using Afro Twist Expression and a crochet needle. I'm going to be cleaning up my roots with some gel. And then I, I brush it after, brush any flyaways, and then I'm going to push the crochet needle through my roots and use the crochet needle to pull the braids, the braiding hair through my roots like so. I'm going to make sure one side of the braiding hair is way longer than the other side. So I'm going to use the longer side to start wrapping my old braids from my roots down to the tip. So keep wrapping until you get to the end of the braid or the tip of the braid. to show you a closer look on how I wrap the end or the tip of my braid. Because the tip of my braid is very tiny, I'm going to flip it over and wrap it with the bigger end and then I'll keep wrapping as you can see on the screen right now. So because the last braid wasn't enough, um, I'm just going to add more braiding hair and then I'll continue wrapping until there's no more braiding hair and that's it. But keep watching, um, I'll show you more examples. Yeah, just keep watching. So I'm going to show you a closer look 
on how I push the uh, crochet needle through my roots and then I'm going to um, add the braiding hair close the hook and then pull the braiding hair through my roots and then we repeat the process just make sure one side of the braiding hair is longer than the other side and then you start wrapping from your roots to the tip of your braids Please keep watching to see the final look. Um, I'm going to show you one more time if you keep watching. One more time, you're going to clean up your roots with some gel. If you hear any noise in the background, that's my baby <laughs> in the background. And then you're going to brush together any flyaways just to clean, clean it up properly. Oh, by the way, I'm wearing makeup because um, I was getting ready to leave the house so you're going to push the crochet hook through the roots add the braiding hair close the hook and then you're going to pull the braiding hair with the crochet through your roots You're going to make sure one side of the braiding hair is way longer than the other side. Then you're going to add the short side with the old braid. And then you start wrapping with the longer braiding hair. You keep wrapping, 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 wrapping until you get to the tip or the ends of the braid. So I'm going to flip over the tiny tip of the braid and I'm going to add it to the the bigger end of the braid and wrap it together and keep wrapping I told you guys I make funny faces when I'm doing my hair like I have to show the seriousness and the intensity of what I'm doing so yeah <laughs>
again I'm showing you a closer look of how I wrap the ends of the braids so just keep watching so I wrap 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 and when I get to the the very last part of the old braids then I'll wrap upwards until my um, braid is until there's no braids I hope that makes sense just watch and it will make sense <laughs> So that's it all done that's the finished look I'm just going to add some accessories to the hair so it can give it a bit more character and yeah that's it so if you like this video please subscribe comment like share and come back again for more videos all right take care bye bye